beginning modern. Today, we're going to continue the combination that we started working on last week. So if you missed that episode, make sure that you watch it before checking into this one. I'm going to do a quick review of what we've learned so far and then add on. So we start standing, our feet slightly apart in parallel. We have five, six, seven, eight. From there, you're reaching out with your left leg. One, you bop my right leg up and around, and then you use that momentum to bring you back to curl down towards the ground and slide out on the floor. From there, we have the windmill with our legs. So we're, we're rolling onto our back as our top leg goes up and around, then our bottom leg to a seated position for just a second, and then we slide out. Then we have our curl. Release, remember we're lifting this top leg slightly, curl back in, back into the X. Other side, in order to get enough momentum, I have to swing that top leg, it now becomes my bottom leg. I come up, and then I slide out. One more time, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And curl. Release. And curl. All around. Top left. Has to swing so I can come up. All right, ready to move on? We're in this nice wide second position. From here, we drop and swing our arms. So we get a nice big plie. Our arms are actually going to cross, boom, and we throw them up into the air. Boom. From there, you are going to twist your body this way. So I'm taking that, I cross, I release, and then I twist, and I'm actually going to bend that back leg because I'm going to push off of it. So from here, I'm going to push, boom. And I come up to a recture in parallel, kind of like we did earlier for this bottom envelope, coming back. So once again, back foot is what we call on the walk. Push. From there, you're going to do a chug and arabesque. So if you watched our beginning ballet video on Monday, we talked about arabesque. It's one of the longest lines that you can make in dance. And we start by, for this chug, Swinging our back leg out. It doesn't have to be super high. You can do a low chug, you can do a medium chug, or you can do a high chug. Whatever you're able to do today. Your arm is going to help you though. So from here, you're already building up all of this kinetic energy, and then you're going to swing, boom, that way. Like you're throwing a baseball really artistically, yes? So we ended in this nice wide second. We plie up and twist, and then we're going to push off that back leg, push, swing. From there, you're going to step onto that back leg, so you don't have to balance. Your arms are going to windmill around this way, and you're going to come in, boom, that way. And you see I'm scooping my belly button in as I bring in my knee straight across. So from here... A swing, and swing, and up, and chug, and a swing. From there, you're going to step back. From here, you're going to step back. Your arms are going to come up, up, up. You're going to plie a swing. For, circle your arms around one and two so that they press your shoulders. And then from here, down, boom and I have my right leg on the ground. So, you just did coming around this way. Step back, be careful, watch your walls and whatnot, swing, boom, swing it back around to your shoulders, boom, and we're gonna take this to the side. Okay, from here, we're so close, I'm gonna keep going. You're gonna step out into a plank, and then you're going to slowly lower yourself to the ground. But instead of doing like a push-up down to the ground, you're going to spiral your hip. So I touch my left hip to the ground as I slide down to the ground. Then from there, my top leg is going to swing, and I'm going to use my hands to push me up to a seated position. Okay? 
So we just did our, whew, bring it up, swing, up and around, touch your shoulders with your fingertips, up one more swing, down into the lunge, plank, twist down, and sit. And that's where we'll stop. Okay, let's talk about a couple of things. So if you want an added challenge for the swing, you're here, step up to releve and parallel. Step up to releve, swing, swing around, releve, and this is a home bay. So again, if you watched our beginning ballet video, we talked about home bay, which means to fall artistically controlled. So from here, you are letting all of this, boom, go down in one single motion versus a ripple effect. Then from there, I just keep my weight in the balls of my hands or my palms and I come out into a plank. Make sure your spine is nice and long. And then I bend my arms slightly as I twist. I keep my hands close to my shoulders and my face so that I can push. And then my hands end up on my knees and I'm coming to this seated position, which we've used quite a bit in the past. All right. Put it all together. So we start by standing. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. So that last part is nice and slow. It's go, 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 and then oh, I can breathe for a little bit and go down into the ground. All right, let's try it with music. Get ready. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. All around. Scoot it back. All around. Swing. Stand up.